Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm doing a tarot card reading for the Water Sands Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this is going to be for February 1st through to the 15th. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But remember, it's not all going to be for you. There may be some issues here from the past that are currently affecting your present. And there may be some energies that haven't quite come out into play yet. So, what is coming towards the Water Sands, please? February 1st through to the 15th. What is coming towards the water sands? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's give the cards a good old shuffle because it's been a while. As usual. God knows how I used to do these videos every single day. <laughs> okay, what is coming towards the water sands, please? So we've just I've just had that three of swords for the Aries Leo Sagittarius reading. So you may have that somewhere in your chat. Or it's something to do with this reading. Yes it is. Got a Queen of Wands there, Sign of Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. <clears throat> right, okay, so we've got two of that fell out, so I'm gonna take them both. Overall energy of the reading, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is someone quite authoritative, um, an authoritative figure, police, fire, could be a solicitor, lawyer for some of you. Somebody who's very, very educated, very highly educated, normally comes across as a, a Libra type energy. This person's coming in with some information, they've got something to say, and it's from a professional point of view. It's important information, it's something that gets your attention, it's something that you need to be aware of. Now for some of you, this information is not going to be the greatest, but you expect it. I'm saying that because message from Spirit is the Three of Swords of Vast. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is getting over something or somebody who caused major heartache major pain you've been going through a lot of pain a lot of things have been holding you back there's some information coming to light regarding whatever it is that's that broke your heart sorry if i go quiet sometimes i just have to really get into the energy of, of, of these cards now the outcome of this three of swords reverse is the queen of wands so you're going to come out shining you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or you've got this somewhere in your chart. But this is you becoming a boss. This is you deciding you're not going to let this pain hold you back. Whatever it is that's about to be revealed to you is, I think you're expecting it. You've been expecting this phone call or this letter or this email or whatever communication it is from this authoritative figure. But it's going to set you up on a good foot. This is something you're going to be able to move forward with. As painful as it is, you know, I don't want to say it, but sometimes you need to hear the shit truth. We all like happy news. We all like happy truths. You know, that's that's how we like to live our life. We, we try to avoid the things that make us feel shit. Even though you don't want to hear it or for some of you, it's going to, it's going to really hurt. You're very aware of it. And you need to hear it. You need to know what's going on. The outcome is the devil reversed and the ace of cups reversed. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a fellow Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. But whatever it is you were dealing with was extremely toxic. Your emotions or this person's emotions were completely all over the place. It was not stable. An individual you're dealing with is not stable. There's a lot of things coming out on, in this, from this person's past and it's going to help you it's going to help you move on from the pain some of you may be suffering with anxiety attacks I can feel like heart palpitations whatever this situation was it sucked you right in and it may have seemed exciting in the beginning 
but when the truth started coming out and this person's true colour started to show, that's that's when everything went tits up. This really did go to shit. The universe is saying this was not good for you. Whatever it is you're dealing with, there's a lot of lies and manipulation going on. You're very easily manipulated. Or you, you, you very, you're too easily, you've, you've, you've fallen into this trap way too easily, all for the sake of love for some of you. And this person did not have your best interests at heart. Clarify the King of Swords, please, in this reading. Clarify the King of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords reverse. Clarify the Queen of Wands. <sighs> Clarify the Devil Reversed. Wow. Clarify the Ace of Cups Reversed. A lot of money has been spent somewhere. There's been a lot of filtering out of the finances. <sighs> feeling on your own. You've been feeling on your own. You've been feeling neglected. Some of you feel like nobody's on your side. There's been a lot of lies, a lot of lies, a lot of manipulation. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, Capricorn. Now this Empress reversed over this Three of Swords reversed is, you are dealing with someone who is a bad person, a bad parent, a very bad parent, very selfish, very materialistic, it's all about them. You put this person on a pedestal at one point and the true colour started to show through. It's a very gross energy. Somebody who doesn't... It looked like they took care of themselves when really they didn't. It was just materialism. It was everybody else taking care of this person. This person runs around causing nothing but pain, nothing but heartache. And... You just feel like... Nothing has been going in your favour. Everything's been set to set to make you fail. You've been fighting and fighting and fighting and it just feels like you're on this bad karmic cycle of shit where nothing seems to be going right, nothing seems to be happening right. You don't seem to be getting heard, you don't seem to be getting listened to. It's almost like you're constantly in this state of fight, fighting for what's right. Now this Queen of Wands is reversed at the bottom with this Devil card. So dealing with someone who has angry outbursts, they like to use manipulation and lies as a tactic to get what they need, to get their needs met. And this person knows that you have had to go to hell and back to fight for what you've got now. This person knows exactly what you've been through. They know exactly what your weak points are. And they instantly press those buttons. This, best, this, this person knows how to get the better of you by using your emotions. They're an extremely toxic individual who come into your life and just wanted to take. They wanted to take for themselves. This person may have, for some of you, trapped you with pregnancy. Some of you have been trapped with pregnancy. They promised you the world and they gave nothing. They, they brought nothing but heartache, lies, pain. And they just wanted to take. This person is somebody who levels up in life by taking from others. And you are suffering there, it almost feels like you're suffering their karmic debt. The more you fight, the more shit you go through. And then this person knows when you blow, when you lose your shit, they get to stand back and say to everybody, look, I told you she was crazy. I told you she was the instigator. I told you she was the one that caused all the pain. This person knows exactly what they're doing to you. They're using your emotions and the battles you've fought in the past against you. And they think they're real smart doing this. They think they're real clever. But the problem is, when you're a spiritual person, these individuals, they can't see who's protecting you. And I, I, you know, I take that saying to my grave. It's not who you can see protecting me. It's who you can't see. That's what you need to be aware of. That's what you need to be careful of. And this individual has no idea, but you are heavily protected. You are heavily guarded by spirit world. Can I have some more cards for this reading, please? 
wow, this person really does like to play games. They're not a true person at all. This is somebody who has got a swinging brick for a heart. They're cold, they're callous. There's a lot of, there, there is a lot of issues here in regards to children. There is children involved. And a lot of trauma from the past. Somebody may be using your trauma that you suffered against you. Wow. What a nasty individual. But you know what? Wow. There's the devil card again and judgment. This person can't fucking touch you. You are untouchable. There is a new love offer coming in there. Somebody, somebody has noticed you. Somebody likes what they see. They see you as a good mother or a good father. Very hard working. You're very, very committed. Judgment's here to bring balance. But this devil card, this toxic energy, all it wants to do is cause unbalance. It wants everything in your life to be as difficult as possible. And they can't stand the fact that you're getting your shit together. There's been a lot of dreams and hopes or something to do with career that you've given up on. You need to take something back up. There's something you need to start working on again. Because it sort of got put on the back burner because of this individual. Communication. Communication is... Wow. So at the bottom of the deck we've got the four of wands... And we've got the Ten of Coins here. You need to keep pushing forward. You need to keep working towards the goal. There's something you're working towards that you gave up on at one point. And you need to keep moving towards it, whatever it is. There is, there is some harsh communication that's been happening. But the universe is asking you to keep pushing forward. Whatever it is who's trying to hold you back, you can't keep letting them hold you back. Can I have a card, please? An angel answer card for Cancer Scorpio. Wow. Getting so many cards. So it's saying that this situation is about to improve. Water signs. Whatever it is you're dealing with is about to improve. It's about to get better. You just need to hang on. Whatever shit you're going through, whatever's getting thrown your way, throw it back. Don't be, you know, I'm glad the hermit card didn't got, come out because that ain't the energy I want you to go into. You need to find in. You need to find the strength. You do have it. I feel like you've just been downtrodden and so much shit has happened that you just feel lost. But this finding card is telling you that you need to find it within yourself. It's, it, it's talking about transformation. You need to transform. Whatever situation you're dealing with, there is an opportunity for it to get better. It's saying that, you know, what you seek you shall find. And you need to follow your soul's calling. A lot of you have suffered a deep loss. It's also saying that an unexpected gift is about to arrive for some of you. Something that... Obviously, you wasn't expecting, but it, it comes at a time where you really need it. And there's a new horizon for some of you. There's something new coming. There's a journey, something that you're going on that reveals answers. A lot of you need a break. This travel card's indicating you need a break, but you are heavily protected. Travel will bring about some changes that you're seeking, and it's asking you to break free from your comfort zone. Freedom is the answer to whatever it is that's been holding you back or trying to hold you back. Just fucking break free from it. I'll leave the reading there. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen with Chappie by giving me a big thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon.